Well, hello there. My name is Carolyn. I'm one of the senior aquarists here, and I am here part of the exploration series for the St. Louis Aquarium for our pass holders. And today we are going to be talking about our leafy sea dragons. So these guys are like seahorses, but they're a little bit different. So first of all, you might notice that they have all these cool appendages on them. And also, you're never going to see them hooked on to the kelp in here because they do not have what's called the prehensile tail, which seahorses use to hold on to these kelp. Helps. These guys are from Southern Australia, and they're actually the marine emblem of Southern Australia. And they're normally found in shallower water, so by seagrass beds, as you can imagine, and usually in shallower areas with uh, rocks or sandy beds. And the reason for that is they want to be kind of hiding in these seagrasses, so they're really good at that. Now, these guys are actually carnivores, which you wouldn't think about. And they're eating things like larval fish and crustaceans. Here at the aquarium, we feed them mycid shrimp. So they just got some mycid shrimp here. They feed them three times a day with these mycid shrimp. And uh, they'll actually eat them using their long snout that they have there. They'll actually use suction to grab that mycid shrimp in. So you'll see that. You might even see it right now since I just fed them. Their head will jerk back, and you'll see them eating there. If you were to be a... a, a cool person and bring a stethoscope to the aquarium, you could actually put it against the window and hear it because it's such a loud pop that you can actually hear it through the window, which is really cool. These guys live between two to nine years of age, which is a little bit longer than seahorses, so we got them beat on that. So seahorses live about five years in age. Now these do have fins, and they're actually technically considered fish, which you wouldn't realize. So they're just a modified type of fish. They still have fins to help them move. If you were to look super duper close to them, it's not the appendages that you're looking at. What you want to look for is you'll see a dorsal fin that's going to run along their back, and then you're also going to see some fins that kind of look like weird wings along the side, and that's how they're going to use to move around this exhibit here. So you'll see them moving super slow. You might see them use their tail a little bit, but that's not really what they're going to be doing. They're going to be moving super slow through the exhibit. Now, these guys are considered a near-threatened species, so that we're not really sure what the numbers are out there in the wild. We do know that we're seeing less of them, but as you can imagine, scientists going out diving for these guys, it's going to be super hard to see them because, one, they like to hide in the grasses, and also they're kind of solo creatures, so we're kind of making them be social, and they're doing okay with it, but normally you only see one at a time unless it's mating season, so it's really hard to see them, so that's why they're predicting that there's a near-threatened species. Now, what they're thinking is declining those numbers is habitat loss. So that's a really big thing that we see out there in the ocean. So things like uh, trawling can pull up the bottom. So trawling nets have a weighted chain at the bottom that drags along the ocean floor, grabbing anything in its path. And that can mean the sea grasses, the sea dragons, literally anything. They're not discriminating against what's in that catch, just grabbing everything. So that can be a problem for animals like this that like to hide along the bottom. So those are our leafy sea dragons. We do have four in here, and I do know them all individually, which doesn't really make sense, but these guys, they're fancy, and they have crowns on the top of their head, and each one of these sea dragons actually has a specific crown. So I can tell who's eating and who's not, and since they don't have stomachs, I sit here and I watch every single feeding to make sure each individual is actually eating every single time. So, yeah. Those are our leafy sea dragons. So thank you so much for joining us here today. There is going to be a quiz, so make sure to take that as so you can ex earn your Explorer badge here at the St. Louis Aquarium. Thank you so much for joining us here today.